Hi. I'm pretty sure most of you know who I am. And if you don't, hello. My name is Layla Jackson. I was Brandon's girlfriend. Well, Brandon's ex-girlfriend. We broke up two weeks before he passed away. Now, you're all probably wondering, why is his ex-girlfriend giving a eulogy? Because his mother asked me to, that's why. I asked Miss Gina, why me? And she said, there's only two people in this world that saw the real him, me and you. And you should do it because you're a lot more outspoken. So, here we go. Hey, Amber Baker. Yeah, that's the girl he left me for. You're in for a wild ride. Brandon Coleman was the son of Gina Baker and Clyde Coleman. They both had previous children from other relationships and they were all grown. So when they had Brandon, he was raised to be an only child, mostly by his mother. Yeah, Clyde, I'm looking right at you. Maybe if you stayed around, this all would have been different. Being a soccer player since he was eight years old, he was captain of his school soccer team and got a scholarship to college for it. What am I doing? I'm not even going to read from this paper anymore because everything on it is lies. So you guys wanna know the real Brandon? Okay. You guys will find out who the real Brandon is. I met him when I was 14. He was 15. I was a freshman. He was a sophomore. I was on the debate team. He was on the JV soccer team. Yeah, it doesn't make sense how we started talking to each other. We had the same Spanish class. He didn't know what he was doing, so I helped him out a little bit, which just resulted in him just cheating off my papers the whole time. But he was the first guy that was ever nice to me. So I fell for him. As most relationships go, they start off happy. Next thing you know, it went downhill from there. Brandon was the jealous type, I'll say that. He didn't like me having guy friends, so I never had any. It started off with jealousy. Then it started off with arguments over the dumbest things. Then he started forcing me to do things that I didn't want to do. And before I knew it, he was putting his hands on me. Hold it. Wait until I'm finished. That 70s show. I love that 70s show. So I used to have Brandon watch it with me so I could spend time with him. He said that we reminded him of Jackie and Michael. And I thought that was really, really sweet of him. Now, if you watch that 70s show, you know that Jackie and Michael did not have the best relationship. If anything, it was toxic. And in certain ways, if you viewed it, it can be seen as abusive. That 70s show. I can't even watch it anymore without seeing his stupid face. 
I wish we could close this casket right now so I don't have to look at his stupid face. One day after school, not after school, during school, I was walking in the hall and I caught Brandon cheating on me. He was in the hall making out with another girl. I didn't scream, I didn't shout, I didn't even let him know I was there. I just walked away. That day I had to stay after school for a debate so I couldn't go home and cry about it like I usually do. So I went to the bakery down the street. Now me and the debate team, we like to go to this bakery down the street just to spend time with each other. But today, that day, I just decided to go alone. I went in there, the girl that always works there, she was at the cash register, she took my order, she said, hey, how are you doing? And I usually lie and say that I'm doing good. But I forgot to lie that day because I was just so distraught about what I had saw. Even though I wasn't surprised, it still hurt. She asked me, how am I doing today? And I said, my boyfriend cheated on me. And she said, oh, I'm sorry. Do you like cookies? And I said, yes, I do like cookies. Now she knows I like cookies because that's all I ever get when I come here. She knew that. So she said, okay, I'll give you a free one today. And I said, thank you. I really appreciate that. I wonder how many more free cookies I could have got if I told her everything he had done to me. My boyfriend cheated on me. My boyfriend slapped me. My boyfriend choked me. My boyfriend called me a hoe. My boyfriend screamed at me for no reason. My boyfriend drugged me. He freaking drugged me so I could sleep with him one time. The day I got the phone call about him dying, I was getting ready for my senior homecoming dance. I got a phone call saying, hey, Brandon's no longer with us. He got into a car crash and he didn't make it. I said, okay, and hung up the phone. I wasn't happy. I wasn't sad. I felt nothing. I wanted Brandon to go through life suffering for what he did to me. All the pain that he gave me over these four years, he got it in 30 seconds and it's not fair. That Monday, I went back to that bakery I bought a cookie, like I usually do. And she said, here, you don't have to pay today. You can have it for free. And I tried to tell her it's okay, but she insisted that I just take it. So I did. Brandon got to die with people loving him more than they should have. I see all of you in this room and you all love Brandon. Go ahead and admit it. It's not going to hurt me. Brandon received love after he died. And all I got out of it was a free cookie. Have fun in Satan's backyard, Brandon. <laughs>